Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming's Pokemon Legends Arceus Nuzlocke Genome, where in today's episode, I think we're going to try and uh, track down some Ursa Luna and also fight the Misfortune Sisters. Great name, by the way. Here's our team, as it were, as it stands right now. We have Shiggy, the Kadabra, Grogu, the Scyther, Nice to meet you, the Graveler, Louisa, the Floatzel. Oh my god, I forgot what we named you. Mackenzie the Carnified, and of course, the Mighty Mercury. It has to be said that thus far, the team, you can even see it right now, they're all looking at Mercury. You can see Mercury giving everyone a little pep talk right now. Like, Mercury is clearly the leader of the team. You can, I mean, just look at this. Look at this. That said, the obvious right-hand soldiers as well. It's, it's almost like... It's not surprising, but Mercury is clearly being respected the most as the team. Everyone's sort of inspecting Shiggy, sort of the um, other, a, a newer member of the team, evolved last episode. But then you've got Nice and Luisa over here, and they are sort of like the the, the right hand men to um, to Mercury, as it were. Of course, I, I say men, right hand ladies, as it were. Uh, one, of course, being the way more defensive Nice, one being the way more offensive Luisa. They are so strong. Those are the, they've definitely gotten the most battling so far, so that's clearly why they are um, being regarded so highly. I say by the rest of the team, it's mostly by Grogu, of course, who has been here uh, also the longest. Our other two members, uh, Mackenzie and Shiggy, are just... Um, are pretty new, so hopefully they can get some more experience today, but that's not to say we're not going to catch some new stuff. Everyone, come on, we're going to go do things. There's a Ghastly right there. We should just go ahead and destroy that thing. Um, right? Right? Let's see if we can just let, um, oh yeah, you want to fight? Bring it, Ghastly. We need to go fight the, uh, Misfortune Sisters. That's the next thing on our list. It is a trainer fight, which is always a little risky, because... There you go, Mercury. Yeah, warm it up. Warm it up. That's what we like to see. We should let uh, Groves do some fighting, though, because they have Pokemon that are very weak to flying and or fire. So we need probably to get some reps in here with some other with some other pokes. Uh, and Grogu has really, really amazing aerial ace. Oh, look, a Burmy. It's going down. Down, yo. Absolutely. Aerial Ace! Wreck that thing. Cause slash, you dead. People think of Scyther mostly, mostly as a bug type. And that makes sense because it's obviously very bug-esque. But, um, that Paris is going down. But real, oh my gosh, we're being attacked by that Psyduck in the water over there? How dare you? Um, the real, the real thing you have to consider with Scyther is that the Aerial Ace is typically its strongest attack in most games because of its ability Technician, which like doubles the power of, um, oh, you want to go, you want to go, maybe we'll let Mackenzie get a quick fight in with you. We'll just see how Mackenzie does. It's grass. We should have a good advantage, perhaps. We have Absorb anyway, so we should be able to get like, maybe Absorb's going to be a really good move, style of move, because you can get health back. Don't you put me to sleep! You sorry duck. You sorry duck. The weird thing about sleep in this game is that it's sort of more like paralysis. Like sometimes you'll be asleep, but you're really just more like drowsy rather than full on asleep. Great battle, Mackenzie. Way to get an easy um, win there. Let's go ahead and let um, Grogu get another. Boom! Oh man, I should have surprised that that would have been a little better. Let's knock out this Parasector. Level 25, it's actually a higher level than us. So what I'm gonna do is go strong style aerial ace right here. Try and hit it. Um, we should hit it for four times weakness anyway, but no reason to risk it, am I right? That is going to be some serious experience, I would hope. Yes, Luisa and, uh, Shiggy getting some moves. Love it, some levels there. Excellent, excellent. Can we catch another Pokemon? There's some really good Pokemon you can catch in the Crimson Mirelands. Specifically, what I'm interested in is a, um, Hippowdon. Uh, Hippowdon is a really, really strong ground type Pokemon. We've already got some ground types as well, obviously, with Nice. But, um, look, this thing is, it's just, it's just asking for a fight, if you ask me. Look at, look at him. He's just like, what? Die! Oh, yeah. What are you, what, what am I afraid of you? I don't think so. Hit him with the Thunder Fang Mercury. There we go. It's dead. It's dead duck meat is what it is. See you later, Sad. 
Mm -hmm. There's a carnivine. I want to find that. I want to find a new area so that we can get a new Pokemon. We need to be... Um, maybe we can get Mercury up to 30 here. That would be pretty nice. Let's keep Thunderfang and some ducks. They're going down. They're going down. Big Mercury. Sprinting towards level 30. Yes, love it. You'll love to see it. Let's get Grogues out here. Oh, it feels so good to have a Scyther on the team, though, doesn't it? Oh, oh, at long last. We had a Scizor in the last Nuzlocke briefly, but now, finally, we have a Scyther. The mighty Grogu. Oh, just, just aerializing things left and right. Making short work of stuff. Let's go ahead, get some free XP right there. This is going to be a really tricky... What is this stuff? Can I pick up this caster fern? Ooh, actually we should make room to pick up the caster ferns because you need them to get... Balls of mud! Discard that. We don't need that. Get rid of it! What about... Sometimes you pick up... Ooh, look at this. Grit dust. Yes, use. Mercury. Yeah, we need to make sure... This... We get real strong here. Attack. Yeah, let's boost that. Let's boost that. Okay, that was all the grit dust, but we need to make sure we don't stockpile that and just use it because uh, it's a very useful item. Get some health back to boost your stats in Battle Caster Fern. That's lovely. Um, that'll help us. Ooh, you know, look, stuff. All these things are free mining too because it's just good. Oh gosh, look at that tang growth over there. That is definitely going to be uh, something we want to avoid because obviously it is very strong uh, and we don't want to, we don't have to deal with it. Don't want to have to do it. Gape Jaw Bog. All right, Gape Jaw Bog. So we can catch something new in here if we want. And of course we do. All I see is the Carnivine and the Tangrowth, though, which are not exactly... Obviously, we can't catch Carnivine. There's a Psyduck. I don't know about that. I don't really want to get another Carnivine because... Uh... Well, obviously we can't get one because of the duplicate clause. There's a Tangela. That's something, I suppose. I don't know if it's exactly what we want to catch. Let's just knock this Carnivine out with a little, with a little strong style Aerial Ace. Let's do it! Come on, Grogues. Cause slam. I love Aerial Ace because it can't miss. Fantastic. There we go. Get that levels. Get them levels. Yes. Up to 19 for Shiggy. That's very good. Um... Ooh, a Barboach. Ooh, that could actually be really good. Because that's, what is that? Okay, because that would be water and ground. So it'd be really weak to grass, but it is otherwise a pretty good combination. And well, we already have, uh, Barboach could be really good. If we get Whimsicott, not Whimsicott. You know what I'm trying. Wish Cash. It seems better than Tangela. As far as I'm concerned. But is there something even betterer we could try and grab? Don't have space in your satchel for that. I'm Ooh! Yanma! Ooh, you guys, Yanma though. Yanma! Yanma's pretty pretty cool Pokemon. I do like that. First, we already have, we already have Grogu. So, yeah, Mega's awesome, but, but that's the thing. Is that? Ooh, okay, that's what we want right there. Boom. Fighting poison, Krogunk. Okay, let's go for it. That's what we want. That is a nasty Pokemon right there. we can just get lucky. Oh, that was terrible. Hide. I don't I don't want to have to like do much fighting with it. I just want to get it. Oh, it moved. Man, it's tricky. It's sneaky. I can get near it though. Sneak up real quiet like and grab it. No! Oh boy. Get it! Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. 
Oh, we got it. Crow gunk. Excellent. That's what you like to see. You love to see it. Let's make sure we can um this too while we're here. A slam. This and a leak and a vivichoke. So the vivichoke is typically a pretty good item to be collecting because it's um it you use it for revives, but obviously we're not going to be using revives because you know we can't. That's that's against the rules. So. Not a problem. All right, that's awesome, man. I'm pretty tempted to put Krogunk on the team because that's pretty solid. Fighting type, very good. It's a little more um, maybe offensive than we're aiming for, per se. But it's probably tankier than Shiggy at the very least. Look at this thing. It's going down. That looks like a big one, man. Level 19, though. It's going down. We're just going to hit it with ye old. Wait, did I hit the wrong way? Okay. Oh, I was like, wait, did I hit agile style instead of for some reason? Yeah, it's dead. Good job, Grogues. Oh, Scythe. Oh, look at that. And Mercury hits it up all the way to level 30. Crushing it. Okay, we've got our Krogon. Let's just go ahead and go all the way back to here real quick. And we'll heal up, and then we're going to go fight the Misfortune Sisters. And hopefully then we'll go to uh, Ursa Luna. And the question... Also... Uh, no. I want to... First of all... I want to see my Pokemon, because we need to nickname our Krogunk here. Hold on. Anton. That is after ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -da. Anton Bergman in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. The question is, should we add Anton to the team over, let's see, what is you, what are you looking like here? Attack 73. Oh boy. Defenses, special defense 89. What are your special defenses like? Honestly, I think McKenzie might be a more solid choice. Now, on the other hand, special attack, massive, really low defenses. So it might be a better choice than Shiggy at the moment. Let's go there. So we got Anton. Mud Bomb, Poison Sting, Rock Smash. So good variety as well. Do we have any other moves we need to be considering? Nope, that's everything we can do. I saw that Grogu possibly had um, some new moves to be looking at. Swords Dance, that's interesting. It's a little, it's very aggressive. <clears throat> Double hit. Let's see, this does, increases damage dealt by its moves by 50%. Well, what's the, like, which one's better? Raises user's offensive stat, increases damage dealt by its moves by 50%. I, it feels like Swords Dance is just better. Let's just hit that instead of double hit. Um, Air Slash, 75, 95. Aerial Ass is physical, though. Aerial Ace, I think that's good. No, but it didn't work. There we go. Ba -da! Did anyone else learn a new move? Did you? Crunch. Hmm. Okay, so this is it's a good dark move for sure. But I like our cover. I love having all three on there and Thunder Wave. So at the moment, I think we're going to hold. Um, what about you, Louisa? Double hit again. Uh... It's good for boosting. I'd rather it be a defensive mood or a nega or something that hits the opponent for weakness. Or, uh, like, um, lowers their defenses. Mud Slap is interesting because it does lower their accuracy. Rock Slide versus... Mm, I think we're good here, too. Okay. And then, yeah, that's everybody. Okay, so we did a good move check. Let's go ahead and rest. Then we're gonna fight the Misfortune Sisters. All right, and I think we're gonna try and lead with Grogu because I'm pretty sure they lead with Toxicroak or Krogunk, which will be super weak to our flying type moves. Or actually, you know what? We're gonna use Nice so we can use Bulldoze and be a little bit more defensive. Although, they have fighting type moves, which could... No, I think Nice is still the way to go. Well, what are you doing? <gasps> Can we evolve? What is this? Well, wh how did I miss this? 
Mercury! Yes! Oh my goodness. Now we have a written now. Mm. I want to break free! Now that's a big oomph right there. Oh, oh. We have Luxray on the team, you guys. Alright, now the question is: did that come with a new No, it did not. Okay. Didn't come with a new move, but look at that. Wonderful. Excellent job, Mercury. Oh goodness, what's this? No! I don't know! Who dare? Who dare? That dumb carnivine. Okay, so we're, ah! We're good at the moment. I think we're still gonna lead with nice. Go do to this next fight. Let's just run. Why are we being so vulnerable to attack? Are we prepared for, oh gosh! That was, <laughs> saw that poison coming in. They were, they were chasing us down. It's a burned out campfire. Somebody must have been here. Huh? Who could it be? Now, who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. The dump. There's only one reason people go poking around here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Correct. Sisters, we should introduce ourselves before we show this poor fool how wrong she was to assume she could ever beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and I'll luck. And ill luck to anyone who crosses our path. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Yeah, thought you spun a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. <laughs> Heads I win, tails you lose. You've got no chance to escape of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. All right. All right, misfortune. All right, let me handle the scissors. I only hurt her a little. <laughs> Come on, Toxic Croak, let's douse this fool. All right, we'll see about that, won't we? Bandit Coin challenge you to battle. She has just one Pokemon. We have six, but we can't lose any. So here we go. Come on, nice. Question is, should we start with our Iron Defense? It does have that fighting type attack. Rocks. Oh, see it. Whoo! Defensive stats were lowered. I don't like it. We're gonna go straight to. I think we just need to switch right now, right to Grogu. Maybe we shouldn't have gone with Nice. See, that's what's not good. Like, they straight up just had hit us for weakness right out of the gate. Nothing we could do real fast. We're gonna go. I think we're gonna go strong style aerial ace. Just try and hit this thing for massive damage, knock it out in one shot. We've been practicing. Come on, Grogues! Wreck this thing! Oh, yes! Grogu is so strong. So strong. Sai I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the galaxy team. Woo! All right, we got some levels. New move for nice. See, the question is, will we have any time to heal? A wall fragment, yeah. Or, oh, we're going to have to fight any of them? I thought we had to fight all three. The weird writing on him missing this stupid thing was some kind of treasure, but it turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. <laughs> all that effort for nothing. Tell me, why are you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? Uh, I wanted to help Ursa Luna. Ooh, goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all we have. And I've got a score to settle with the galaxy team, which now includes you. Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it days of spring beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool. Oh. Okay. Alright, see ya! Can I heal? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and heal Miss Nice. Boom, well done to the team. Oh, you guys are fantastic, as per usual. As per usual, everyone was amazing. No one's surprised, look at you. Were you foolish enough to try and attack me, Parasect? Parasect, I'm your biggest fan. I put you on the map and now this is how you repay me. How dare you. Prepare to get Aerial Ace right in your face. Ace to the face, Ace to the face! 
Number you defeated flying type moves? Two. Boom. Awesome. Love it. You'll love to see it. Here we go. Now we have to go back over to wherever. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. It feels like so, like, don't fall off the bridge. Don't fall off the bridge. What is this music? Why? The music check. What happened? Is something special around? Actually, to that end. Celestia on ruins. We don't, I don't think we caught anything there. Oh, boy. Did we catch anything in Celestia on ruins? Or do you have to go inside for it to actually count as being there? Oh, now we're inside, so. Okay. All right, dude. Don't make me fight you again, you dumb guy boy. Knock out my Stantler. You free? Oh, you got the frog back, safe and sound. I'm well aware of Kalaba's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned and so on. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has. Ever since she was young, she lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting the guidance of almighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very much. Anyway, hope you find her. Hope you're able to calm Ursaluna's frenzy, Jay. Raging Pokemon in this area is definitely good for business, I assure you. Oh boy, am I gonna have to fight that Bibberall now? If we are, then we're going to lead with the Merc, right? Yeah. Because, uh, Thunder Fang and Thunder Wave. You know how it is. I don't remember if I have to fight this lady or not. Bibarels can be weirdly scary. Just HP giants. Oh, so you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you like, but it won't change my mind. This wall fragment. Huh? What? Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager to call more Saluna, huh? That's right. Mm-hmm. Big nod. I'll admit I didn't expect anyone else to truly care. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. Da -da -da -da. Fun fact, you guys. Uh, I believe I, I stared at this, like, unknown writing for, like, when I played it the first time, I was like, I'm going to translate it all so I know what it says. And I did it, and then they just tell you, like, right after. Let me read what, yeah. I, like, I read all of this. I was like, all lives touch other lives to create something new and alive. I was like, oh, cool, I got it. And then she said it, and I was like, oh, boy, I just wasted, like, ten minutes doing that. Anyway. I suppose it means people helping each other like how you helped retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Really? This is the first time? It doesn't feel that complicated. You've been around for 99 years. You invented a sunshade umbrella backpack thing. Please lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he'll return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. Okay. It could never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Ursaluna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. <laughs> Great name, by the way. Please join me there when you're ready. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'd be happy to go to Sludge Mound. Head to Sludge Mound. All right, find Ursaluna. No problem. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Oh, look at that. You know what that is? Space-time distortion. Oh. oh, I'm curious. They have crazy things in there. Uh, but should we risk it? Golden Lowlands. We already caught something in here. Uh, uh, do I want to go to the space-time distortion? Kind of. Yeah, I want to go see. Maybe. What? We might have to run. We have to be very, very um, ready to run. <laughs> is how this is gonna work, right? Oh, how do I get over there? Go back across the bridge? Oh boy. All right, here we go. I'm so afraid of falling in the water on the bridge. <laughs> okay, here we go. Don't be deep water. Oh, there's the space-time distortion, you guys. We gotta be very careful, but we, there is possibility that we get something really cool in there. Stay away from me, Alpha Tangrowth. Oh, you know what, though? It's not gonna be... We've already caught something in Gape Jaw Bog, so I don't think it's even gonna matter, because it's not... 
Um, oh man. Okay, so it's not worth going in because um, we've already caught something in Gape Jaw. So we'll, we'll have to wait for a space time rift to go to appear somewhere that isn't somewhere we've caught something. Boy, too bad, too bad. Oh boy, oh god, I almost went right off the edge there. You there! Die! You're no Mackenzie. Give it the old strong style, Grogues. Rip its head off. Yeah, it's gone. Carnivine out. What, you wanna fight too? You wanna fight? We may as well get like the fights that we can in because more experience is only gonna be helpful to us. And we may as well strong style these things because it's pretty much a guaranteed one hit and it's not like there's any limit to the number of times you can do it. Yeah. They're going down. And we're just wrecking stuff with area like right now, so. I'll take it. Stuff's leveling up. Pro Gunk with a new move down there. We should go check that out. Oh! There we go. Area Ace! Ace to the face! Boom! You're dead. Alright, see you later. The other thing we could try and get is um, if we find some Gravelers, and there are a lot here, we can try and just knock out a bunch and get the Black Augurite. Because if we do that, then we could evolve Scyther. All right, we're gonna fight our way over there. Oh, see, and I, I, you speak of it, and there it be. All right, Mackenzie, you're up. See if we can try and sneak up on this thing, give ourselves a little bit more of a free fight. Oh. Boy, these things are fast. All right, well, we didn't exactly sneak up on it, but. <laughs> oh, it's level 27. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. Um. Doesn't change the. Doesn't let us go any faster, so we may as well just go for the absorb. Oh gosh, please don't one hit kill us. Iron defense. Okay, it's our turn again. This thing is going down. We are absolutely. Why do you get to go twice? No! Come on now. Come on now. It's just going to be obscured, though. Yeah. Iron defense again. I think we. Could, I think we'll still get it, though. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we got it. Get that health back. Well done, Mackenzie. Five levels higher. That was risky of us. Grit dust. <gasps> the black augurite. No way. No friggin' way. Okay, so first of all, let's use the Grit Dust. Let's go ahead and use it on um, Grogu. Boost that attack up even more, because guess what's about to happen? Oh! Guys, it is happening. Do it! Oh, it's now, oh, actually, we're gonna lose our Flying Stab type now with the Aerial Ace. So there is that. However, could, how could we not? How could we not? Because look at this. Cleavor, yes. <laughs> now we have two rock types on the team. Possibly ill-advised. I don't even care. Uh, change moves. Here we go. Stealth rock. So we still have aerial ice. We're going to keep that up. So we should put a rock. It feels like we should put a rock type move on the team. On you, doesn't it? Um, ba, 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 ba. We're gonna keep aerial ace as well. We're definitely gonna keep that. Um, air slash stealth rock. Let's go ahead and just give you stealth rock instead of quick attack, though. It feels like we should have a rock type move. I think. I think. Now we have the stealth rock. And did I see that someone else had a new move? You change moves. Let's check. Nasty plot. Ooh. Stimulates the brain by thinking bad thoughts, raising offensive stats. Hmm. I don't know if we need it. I don't know. Not yet. 
Yep, I can see why that would be good. Guys, look at look at Cleaver though. Look at our look at our boy. Oh, oh goodness. Very nice, Cleaver. Very nice. Welcome to the team. Welcome aboard, matey. What you love to see. It only took, it took me so many gravelers in my regular playthrough to actually find exactly that. This took no time at all. What do you want? Are you gonna go fight that graveler for me? And that Geo dude? Oh, don't you dare fight me. You wanna fight, bro? Brohemian? You wanna go, Geo dude? Please don't let me fight both of them. Are both of them fighting? Oh gosh. Okay, actually, but we're gonna run. Yeah. Sorry. Too many. Too many. Uh, too much opposition for a single fight. Don't like it. We're not. Oh. Are we in a new area yet? Are we in a new area? Oh, oh gosh! We're being attacked. We're being attacked. It's bad. We're very near Sludge Mound. Okay, let's get closer. Go! Run! We need to get into Sludge Mound so we can catch one of these Hippopotas. Get to Sludge Mound! Oh, now we're in Sludge Mound. Oh, you still wanna fight? You still wanna fight, dude? You chased us from that far? All right, bring it. Mackenzie is gonna whoop you, man. Here we go. Absorb. Jump. Ah, you'll love to see it. One hit, one. Man, I've never used Carnivine before. This is fun. This is fun. We're wrecking that thing. Okay, are we still in Sludge Mound? I think so. I don't see why this wouldn't continue to count. Let's see if we can lure this thing over towards us. Yes. Yes. Smell. Oh no! All right, all right, you're on, Hippopotas. Let's go. This is gonna be our sludge mound catch. Stun spore. Wreck that thing. Maybe I'm able to move you to bite. Oh, look how strong it is. Oh, I don't like that. Maybe we're gonna use bite as well, though. Um, I think absorb will just straight up kill it, so. We want it to just be paralyzed. Ah, no! Mackenzie, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, though. Just chill. Everyone just, okay? All right. Potion, use Mackenzie. Maybe we even need a super potion here, though. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that was good enough. Mud Bomb, aborted the attack. Okay, I love that. That's fantastic. Now we go for the bite. And then the paralysis. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted. Because now we can go for the heavy ball, which should be really effective. The annoying thing about the heavy ball is that if you're using it on without doing the fight, you have to get really close to them to use it. But once you're in the fight, it doesn't matter where you stand. You just get a boom, Hippopotas is caught. That's our sludge mound catch. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Great Pokemon, great Pokemon. Don't know if it's gonna be better than nice just yet, but it's nice, it's good, nice to know that it's there. Oh, I feel like we're about to have another fight right here though. What kind, I don't even know what typing. Are we gonna have to fight Ursa Luna? Oh gosh, I don't know what kind of, um, what typing Ursa Luna is. It feels like, uh, hold on, I'm gonna have to look it up. Cause if that's the case, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Ground normal. Okay. Okay, so we wanna like, use, hit it with some, uh, I kind of feel like Mackenzie's a good bet then, but I am, if we have to fight it, or maybe we just have to give it some medicine, I don't know. It could be good. Let's see, who else would be? Luisa is probably the other. Okay, let's actually go with that. Let's go with Luisa. Maybe, uh, ground is definitely not gonna be good for you. Let's go with Luisa, just in case. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to fight it or not, but here we go. Over here, Jay. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, ground normal. Oh boy. Ursula Luna's enraged, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up at the moment I play my Celestica flute. 
You'd think they would all have like different sounds, right? For the playing of the flute. It's always the same sound. Like, why'd you have to show me a different one? Oh boy, are we about to have to fight? Oh, big bear, big bear, big bear. Show your metal, but remember that Ursaloon is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. Okay, all right, oh goodness. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. All right, here we go. Let's go, Louisa. That's right, give him the old tail. Give him the old tail, Slaparooski. All right, well, I think what we want to do... Oh god, it's, it's coming, it's coming. I think we're just gonna hit it with regular Water Pulse and we'll see how that does, right? Please don't knock us out. Okay, it did over half. As long as this doesn't kill us. Ah! It was very close. We're gonna go strong style Water Pulse. This should do it, as long as we don't miss. Come on. That should do it, right? Boom, yes, Luisa. Oh! Look at all the levels on the team. Move mastered. Booyah. Love that. Whew. Boy, I was like, I, that slash. Slash is like a high critical rate move. I was like, oh no. It's going to hit us for stab slash. Uh, I have a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison's what's causing us Luna's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We'll call it Toxicon. All right. Who says so? Bleeg! Uh-huh. It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna, you've calmed down now, haven't you? Mm, this is all very strange, though. He wasn't glowing. Mm-hmm. Mm, very astute of you, Galaxy Team recruit. You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleaver's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from over here. But no such strange light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him. Oh, was he glowing? Man, what is that clinging to Ursaluna's coat? Seems like some kind of powder. Hmm, that girl from the Diamond Clan, Erezu. Now, why did she, of all people, find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Okay. Now we can ride a big bear whenever we want. That's always fun. You can now call Ursaluna to dig for treasure! Yay! Ba boom All right, well, I think that is going to be a good spot to uh, call it a day. Although, we should go back to the Myerlands camp real quick. And we should give our Hippopotas a nickname. Change name. Let's see it. All right, let's go find a name. It has to be you guys. It's Denise. Denise the Hippopotas. Oh, one of this was one of my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon. Uh, oh man, it's gonna be hard not to use this, but at the moment we do have nice and it doesn't seem like we need, we've already got rock ground and we've already got bug rock. So it seems like we probably don't also need ground as well. But man, look at the team. Thus far, we evolved. This has been a good day. We evolved both Grogu and Mercury. We are uh, close to evolving nice. All we need is like the link cable, really, which you can do by um, returning people's packs. Um, so there we go. Oh, I'll, I'll show you this too in case you want to see. Boom! We can ride Bear. Yay, Bear. Look, you can go find stuff. Um, oh, stuff over here. Stuff over here. Ah, uh, well, there's stuff, something over there we can go find eventually. This is so much more cool. This is so much more fun than the than the deer, if you ask me, though. Riding Big Bear. Not as fast, but definitely cooler, more imposing looking. Anyway, this seems like a good finishing shot for the video. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching today's video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like on it if you haven't already. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm, and it's totally free for you to do. So thank you for hitting the like button. How many likes did we get on the first video? Let's see. Thus far, we are at 1,000 likes. So let's see if we can get 1,000 likes on this video as well. That's our that's our like goal, if you will. Uh, also, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are getting closer and closer to 100,000. We are we are getting there. We need like a way to celebrate 
at 100,000. If you have a suggestion for how we should celebrate 100,000 subscribers, let me know in the comment section. That'll also enter you uh, to be having a Pokemon named after you, which is always very exciting. So, um, yeah, let me know. What do you think we should do? Because I'm up for it. Maybe some sort of like really big stream or something. That sounds fun. Um, yeah, those are that could be that could be cool. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. And before we go, just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby Mondin, Afropunk, Aiden Rudineres, Brianna Bouchard, Bryant, Dakota Ballantyne, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Karen Choi, Kimberly Lee, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Rashaba, Robbie Cruz, Stacy, and 0412. Again, thank you all so much for your continued support over over on Patreon. If you'd like to see your name on this wall, you can head over to patreon.com slash Gaming. We also have some other really awesome tiers like our quarterly merch tier and one option to sit down and play some games with me and Ben once a month. If any of that sounds interesting to you, go check it out. Dead spork.